own room, Captain. All right, Mr. Sulu. Let's see what she's got. Meters, sir. Scotty, we'll need everything you have. Aye, sir. What drive standing by? Kirk. You do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. Warp speed. Aye, sir. Warp Well, welcome everybody to See For All channel. Here is the laser show. I'm going to show you some lasers that I caught from a couple Facebook confirmations, but I want to investigate it. And so this is going to be my version of a laser show. <clears throat> I found one report on it. I'm going to show you that. But I did a little bit of filtering so you guys could really see the lasers. You know, there's lasers coming from the ground nowadays. They can shoot drones out of the sky with pinpoint accuracy. You know, and then you got, is there lasers going on in the sky? We just don't know about it because sometimes we see those arcs and those laser lights going off. I've seen a number of videos like that. That could be happening. And then you got the old sun simulator, we call it, or the, uh, it's a launch platform. <laughs> then you got this crazy stuff going on, you know, the launch plans platform, right? So keep watching. Launch platform. What's it launching? Light simulation or laser simulation? So here we go. We're going to show you some beautiful captures of what I call laser cannons. But, you know, that's just my opinion. And, uh, but you know, you could obviously see what I'm going to show you is their lasers being used for some purpose. They are arcing light for some purpose. They're coming from space. You know, everybody wants to say, well, they're coming from aliens. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're coming from a satellite like you see right here. You know, so be open-minded. Um, try to get the truth on it. And so they're saying in this report that they're measuring the ground. And they're doing it every 90 days, I think he, he said, but check it out, um, grab a coffee, and maybe your teddy bear if you're scared, but by all means, share it. Here we go. So this is just a little bit of the beginning. You have seen these four lights coming down. This is from a Facebook page, um, Alien Skies. Not a very big page. I seen these and he caught these a while back <clears throat> didn't really have the date on them so I'm gonna say he caught them this year um, so I said I need to find some confirmation <clears throat> and you can see the telephone line go right through the middle of that so don't mistake that as UFO or anything it's not but if you look above the second one there to the left you'll see something in there and the third one something in there right and I just keep putting them through different filters they're definitely generating quite a bit of energy at this level are they arcing you know electromagnetic arc to the power line it looks like that but I'm not sure or it's causing the power line to arc but you know that's why I'm showing you folks it's pretty freaky and uh, I'm gonna get into that report here in a minute all right keep the watching earth is warming up polar rice is melting yes but how much exactly and how does this affect people's lives NASA's new laser will answer those questions and many others Previous instruments measured ice melting in Greenland and Antarctica, but the latest ice set will bring a new dimension to the data, height. Basically, it uses laser beams sent from the satellite down to the Earth. Uh, they bounce off the surface, come back to the satellite. We can use the two-way travel time of that laser pulse to accurately and precisely get a sense of the height of the surface of the Earth. ISAT-2 will measure the same spot of the Earth every 90 days, telling scientists how much ice has melted in that period and how much that melted ice contributed to the rise of sea levels. 
NASA's first ISAT, which functioned until nine years ago, had one laser beam, which collected data 40 times in one second. Not bad. But ISAT-2 has six laser beams, firing 10,000 times per second. NASA says the laser, although extremely powerful, will not melt the ice. So it's saying it won't m melt the ice, the six lasers coming down, and that the, um, the return time, the pulse, maybe that's what we're seeing in there is a pulse? I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say that's a weapon because I don't see it blowing nothing up. I do see the arcing going on when you can't even see the laser right there on the left because it's arcing going on. So the laser is still there. Um, are they detectable by the eye? Well, these were caught with the naked eye on a cam. I did the filtering. And for educational purposes, to criticize it. That's what they say I have to call this criticism. So I'm criticizing what I found and reporting. Now here's uh, Dawn. On the right here is Dawn Yazi from Facebook. You guys check her out. Shout out to Dawn Yazi. Great, great capture. And you see what happens, I, I'm going to run both of these side by side, but I did a little filtering. It was really pink by itself. But you look at the arc, we, get, we got this arc of lightning going through it, and the same as the other. So I'm going to say this is confirmation on a laser caught behind someone's house. It looks pretty wide. Um, you know, I don't know how to guesstimate that, but you guys do, let me know. It looks at least as wide as that tree, maybe wider. And who knows how far away, so... Could be even wider than that, but let's say it's um, two or three car lengths wide, maybe. Pretty big, pretty beam, pretty good sized beam. Um, the lightning is a mystery. Is it just because of the static electricity in the air? You know, um, what, is it the pulse inside of it sending back information on the measurements? You know, so what am I gonna say, folks? This is just what it is. Enjoy the rest of this and I'll talk to you later. God bless. There's my laser show. First one. I, well, I caught one laser in Alaska, and it was orange. Look, not as wide as this, but it was pretty good. I don't know if I could find it. It might have been stolen. Anyways, God bless. Talk to you later. Next video. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. God, Jesus. And don't forget, subscribe. Ring the bell. And thumbs up. God bless.